Hello, where's the girls? Welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Still with that mining, and today we are at our little canal here that we used to uh, ship over villagers to the raid farm. But here underneath my feet lies our next project a copper farm. And I choose this location because there is a spawner, a zombie spawner right there. We will use that. However, as this one is so close to the surface, um, we will need a bit of uh, tinted glass. Um, one and a half boxes full. So that means three chests full of uh, amethyst shards to make it. And then we have to dig the space out. And there we have to be a bit careful not to destroy the spawner because that would be the end of it. But I think we can manage. Um, we did it once with the with the blaze uh, spawner farm, so I think we know what we have to do. But first, I have to gather quite a few resources to get this project going. Let's try to dig, or more precisely, to blow it out in the form of a time lapse. And I think the way to protect the spawner is by surrounding it by uh, blocks with high blast resistance. I decided here on crying obsidian because that's just uh, the first thing that came through my hands. And then we can actually start figuring out how to build this up from the bottom. By the way, this farm design is by Nembom. So I think that was the last farm design he did before working for Mojang itself. So enjoy. Now we have the lowest spawning layer in place. Uh, one long stretch in this direction and the same in the other one. And on here, uh, basically, if a zombie is uh, hit, uh, they try to spawn reinforcements and these can happen in these areas here on the side. However, that only works on hard mode. And uh, they will try to converge here to the middle. Down there, that's the, uh, the killing chamber. Uh, however, they cannot uh, reach there uh, and they will be moved up through these bubble columns to the next layer, which we will build in a minute. Um, and on that layer, that's where they are A, converted into ground, so that if they are killed, they have a chance to drop copper. And B, they are hurt by snow golems. And that might be the most tricky part of this farm to get the snow golems in place, but I'm sure we will manage. The second spawning layer is now also in place and uh, as you can see covered with tinted glass, which means no more spawning layer on top of this one. On this side, we extended the bubble column all the way up here and then here um, if I can 
move over, we actually from this side uh, the uh, zombies can walk in and from that side they will be lifted a bit more uh, and then they will be pushed over to this side so they drop in on here and down here we have uh, two layers of uh, water we have a bit of cobwebs uh, so that the mobs are slowed down and now all that remains to be done is placing some snow golems one layer here one row here and then a third one there and the way we do that is um, we have these separators uh, so all the snow golems uh, stay in place uh, so that they do not move and what we need to do is uh, basically uh, make sure that um, we can move them because we want to separate them with the with the trapdoors but the trapdoor um, and the snow golem uh, are on the same block so we cannot spawn a, a golem on this uh, spot here so that's why we do it one over uh, like so and then we simply have a piston there power it and it's put into the proper place and then we can do that over and over again until we have the the whole row filled with uh, filled with snow golems uh, then on top here i think uh, we have uh, uh, carpets uh, so that they cannot uh, move up on this layer because on here uh, we will have more snow golems uh, and we have to ensure that they do not uh, move from one row to the other one so that means I have a bit of uh, work ahead of me uh, to put all these snow golems in place um, but then we should be good and I placed a temporary roof above them because uh, they do not like uh, rainy weather so much so, so we cannot control the weather let's be on the safe side. The snow golems are all in place and it was quite a bit of shoveling and as you can see I have built up the farm a bit more so that the uh, spawner is now fully encased uh, with a water stream here on the bottom uh, there a bit of magma blocks to uh, uh, prevent the mobs to linger there because uh, those are the spots where the stream is not that strong um, to actually push them forward into that hole. So all that now remains is put out this torch and fill this up and then we have mobs spawning in here and the farm is working so all that needs to be done here is connect this water stream in a way to push the mobs from that are coming from uh, these uh, two spawning platforms up here over to there so they can drop down there and join their colleagues and then I think uh, I will do uh, a bit of a, a time lapse uh, 
farming a bit of uh, copper. Uh, I will probably craft myself another sword. Uh, one that has smite 5 on it instead of sharpness 5. That's a bit better for undead mobs. And that's something that we want to prevent here. Uh, but you can see the mobs are coming up. So um, let's block them off for now until I can uh, finish this part. Right. Well, let's do that and then we can have a look at uh, how the farm is actually working. There we have it. It's quite nosy in here. Uh, even with hostile mobs turned down to only 10%. And let's see what we get from this. Uh, but one hour session. Oh, quite a bit of copper. Nothing in here yet. What? I am worrying a bit is um, if this is all enough filtering through one hopper chain because I have seen yeah unstackable items they can basically block uh, this thing up and um, until everything gets sorted out Maybe an improvement would be to have four or uh, even six outputs. So uh, one sorter for each uh, hopper that we have there. I think that could be manageable. Uh, but uh, for now, we have a working copper farm. Thanks to the uh, efforts of uh, Nembom. And um, we can do something different next time. What that will be, you will have to wait and find out. So don't forget to subscribe and uh, like. And I will see you hopefully soon. Until then, goodbye.